Creating a whimsical triangle pattern like this is a whole lot easier since the new pattern preview mode in Photoshop. We're going to start with a small document. I'm going to create a document that is 200 pixels by 200 pixels. This is going to be for my triangle. So what I'm going to do is go to my brush tool and I'm going to select a hard brush. So this is a round brush that I can increase the hardness on and I want it to be fairly small. I can adjust it using the open and close brackets in just a second. Make sure that you're painting with black. And I'm just going to use the open square bracket to just size the brush down a little bit. I'm going to draw a triangle. I don't want this to be a perfect triangle at all, so I'm just going to draw it by hand. I'll go to edit and then define brush preset, and this is going to be triangle. I'll click OK. Now we need a document to work in, so I'm going to choose File and then New. I'll create a document for my pattern that is 600 pixels by 600 pixels. It just needs to be bigger than our triangle. You could make it even larger, but let's try one 600 by 600 pixels and see how we go. I'm going to choose View and then Pattern Preview because that gets us into Pattern Preview mode. I'm also going to zoom out a little bit so that I can see around the edges of my pattern. This is going to be the area my pattern's going to take up. I'm painting with black. I'm going to the Brush tool. I'm going to select the last of the brushes, which is this triangle that I just created. But we need to set it up, so we're going to click here to set up the brush settings. We'll go into Brush Tip Shape here because this allows us to adjust the spacing. And we want the brush tip to paint triangles that are separated from each other. So something like this. I'm going to Shape Dynamics. I'll turn it on. I want my brushes to, or my triangles to be a little bit varied in size. So I'm going to use a size jitter of about 8%. I might also add a little bit of angle jitter so that these will be rotated a little bit. We'll go to scattering and turn that on. I'm going to scatter across both axes here. I'm going to add just a little bit of scattering. That's going to move the triangles up and down a little bit. I think that's probably a bit too much. So let's just go back to 20% and see how we go. My triangle's a bit big, so I'm going to size it down with the open square bracket. Mindful that this is the edge of my pattern piece, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off the edge here, and I'm just going to start painting across with my triangle brush. If I go too far and double things up, then I'm going to just undo it. Now, it looks like I'm getting a doubling up every time I do this, so I'm going to stop before I get there. And then I'll add another brush by just clicking here. Let's go down and do the next line. So I'm just going to start in a slightly different position. I'm also getting that doubling up happening. If I don't like that, I can just come in and put those brush strokes in by hand. Just be aware that we're going to start each line over the edge of the pattern and in a different position. I did quite a lot of those by hand. That's just fine. I'm looking at these spaces here. In fact, you can zoom out a little bit further just to see how everything's looking. But I'm really happy with this. This is what my pattern's going to look like. This is as easy as it is to create a whimsical triangle pattern these days in Photoshop. I'm going to open the Patterns panel. Now you can get to yours by choosing Window and then Patterns. And I want to add this triangle pattern. This is one I did earlier, so this is not the one we're working with right now. So I'm just going to click the plus symbol and calling this triangle 2, and it's added as a new pattern. To test this, we'll create a brand new document file and then new. I'm going to create a document much larger. This one's 3600 by 3600 pixels in size. I'm going to click on the background layer so that it is no longer a background layer. It's just a regular layer, and I'm going to click to add the pattern to my document. And there is a whimsical triangle document. Now, you can make brushes like this. You could make circular brushes, square brushes. You can make all sorts of brushes and create whimsical patterns in this same way. The larger your starting document, this was only 600 by 600, you might be able to build in a little bit more flexibility, a bit more space between the repeats, because this repeat is here and here. 
So if you had a starting document that was twice the size, you'd be getting four times as many triangles in here before you actually got this repeat. So you would go twice as far between this and the next repeat in either direction. So just be aware that a larger starting document will give you a bigger repeat, but it's also a little bit tricky in terms of lining everything up. So you might want to start small and then just make larger ones as you go and get a bit more confident. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.